Hey guys, it's Brian again. We're continuing with our HTML tutorial, and before we really venture on into bigger and better things, I thought we should revisit text formatting. We've only covered uh, bold, italics, and underlining, but there's actually a lot more you can do with just simple text. Uh, rather than type it all out, I just went ahead and did it, and I thought I'd walk you through it. Uh, TT is teletype, and notice that each one of these has a on tag and a corresponding off tag. Be sure you put that in, otherwise you'll you know, make your entire page teletyped or bold or whatever you're working with. All right, moving along. B is bold, I is italic, U is underline. Big is big text, EMs emphasize, small is small text. You can do subscripted, strong, definition, uh, code, sample, keyboard, variable you can cite, as in like citing a reference. Uh, P is actually for paragraph. It's become popular. P pretty much does almost the exact same thing that the break or the hard return does. Uh, block quotes, you know, just is a block quote. Uh, the header is another popular one. You notice H1 through H4. H1, I believe, is the biggest one, and then you can go all the way down. Now, this is our page. Let's go ahead and see what it looks like in our browser here. There we go. And you can see there's the tell type, bold, italics, underline, big, emphasize, small, et cetera, et cetera. Um, oh, yes, one I forgot to cover is uh, you can actually do deleted, so you can put a line through it. My favorite color is blue. You know, I deleted that. My favorite color is red. Um, actually, in real life, my favorite color is blue. Anyways, and then here's your block quotation, and here's your headers. I know this is a pretty short tutorial, and we whipped through this pretty fast. Basically, you're at the point with text formatting that when you have a question, you should be able to go to Google and find the answer rather quickly. Um, some of the good references would be like uh, htmlgoodies.com, uh, w3schools.com, things of that nature. Uh, most of the time, working with text, unless you're really doing something fancy, you're really just going to need bold, italics, underline maybe once in a while you'll need like a strong definition or you know keyboard text or a variable or a citation but general experience you're not going to use those very often thank you for watching i hope you found this educational and entertaining